Hello everyone. In this uh, video tutorial, we will see how to use Cortex Prime for making uh, or building the structural level modeling. So before we dive into this, so what is this structural level modeling here? Uh, let us revise once briefly about the structural modeling. If you have, uh, let's say, a pathfinder with us and uh, R gate with us, we can build full adder, right? We can build our full adder just by connecting this half adder and R gate in a appropriate or recommended way. This is our R gate. So here we are giving A and B as inputs to the first instance of uh, half adder. In the second instance of half adder, the sum of this first half adder will go as an input and carry in will go as an input here. And the second half adder instance will give actual sum output. This is sum. And we have here A, B, and C in. And uh, the carry out of this first half adder and carry out of the second half adder, these two will be given to the R gate and this R gate will give us the carry out. So that is what the structural level modeling is. So what we are going to do is, we are going to develop this half adder using Verilog HDL and R gate using Verilog HDL. And then we will build the symbols for this half adder and R gate. We just instantiate the symbols to build this full adder. So let us proceed to that. This is quarters prime. Here we are going to create a new project. And the new project uh, directory will be on my desktop. Here full adder using half adder. So this is my working directory and the project name is full adder FA and just finish and then it is taking little time to create the project so here our project been created and in this project we don't have any files here so we have to create the files so let us create new very large stl file click ok here let us write half adder core module space ha is a module name within the parenthesis port list a comma b sum comma c o that is carry out the type declaration is here input a comma b output sum comma c o and then here sign sum equal to a this is xor operation b so sign c o equal to a ampersand this b this is for and operation and module so we have done uh, describing the half end let us save by clicking on this save and the name is half adder so ha half adder dot b save it now go to file again new we have to create this time r gate so r gate again module r gate within the parenthesis port list a comma b comma y and then type declaration here input a comma b output y 
and then we, we have here a sign y equal to a bar uh, the, sorry this is vertical bar I mean that is for our operation so a bar b and then so, so this is n module and then save this also with the name or gate Now, here select this one, right click, set as a top level entity, and then right click again, create symbol files for current file. Click that and wait here, watch here, message will become successful. So, and the progress also you can see here is happening. So, now 4% done. So, let's wait for that. So we see here symbol file was successful. Now we have to create the symbol for argate also. Select that argate.refine, set as top module entity, and then again click create symbol files for current file. So here we can see create symbol file was successful and now uh, we have a symbol for half adder and we have the symbol for our gate. So let's go to file new. This time we are going to create block diagram. That is what uh, is now we see here. This is a block diagram only. We are just going to connect them here the instances of half adder and instance of all gate here and we are not going to describe anything inside this uh, full adder we are just instantiating the symbols that are already been created so let's do that that is block diagram or schematic file click ok now here um, this one if you see this one symbol tool click on that symbol tool and go to your pro this project here expand this one you will see your HA and R gate so select the HA click OK so we are placing here this is one HA and this is second HA now we go to this again that is this one this uh, symbol tool and then go to expand this your project there go to our gate select the our gate here click ok so you place it uh, here so now we have placed these components now to get rid of this uh, press escape key so 
now you can zoom with here to zoom this one zoom in you, you can press control space bar control shift space bar is to zoom out or control space bar is to zoom in so now what we do is uh, we have to take the uh, wire and uh, connect here so to do that go to this one that is orthogonal node tool click that and uh, here you can see uh, this uh, horizontal tilt uh, i mean the horizontal line and vertical line they are like in ra ra right angle they are connected here i mean to the mouse cursor so place where you want to start the connection here we, we want to start the connection so click click there and drag click and hold the mouse left button drag let's say i want to take the turn from here leave it there and move from there on again down click and uh, hold and drag down like this and then here we want to take the right turn here this way so from this point and a bit up from here that's all so the, this is uh, the connection uh, and then here we need a connection that is for input A this is not the right connection from here another is from here and then mm, here uh, let me go to this one select tool and select this one let me drag this one. I just wanted to show that there is a connection here. Okay. Now uh, we need a C in also. This is uh, like A B and the C in is going to second half order instance. So this second half order instance is getting uh, C in. So three inputs over here. This is going to give us actual sum out. And then uh, this C out. This C out. to the OR gate and this C out also to the OR gate okay now here That is for C out this one. So now go to this section, take the input pin and create a little space here and place this one here. Create a little space. This one here, one input here, another input here, and one more input here for C in. And uh, for C out, uh, we have to take uh, output pin, place it here, 
color of this yellow so let us adjust this one okay so now we can rename this pins uh, this pin can be renamed as a and this is as a b and this is as a c a and then this pin has some and this pin has a c o so now to view the complete view you are fit in window so we can do so we have a a, B, C in here. A, B is going to first instance of half header. To the second instance of half header, the first half header sum and this carry in. And this second half header instance is giving us some actual uh, output of the full header. And it is also giving a one more carry. So the carry from the second half header, carry from the first half header, both being given to the R again to generate the actual carry out so with that we have uh, done this thing this complete thing so now let us save this one so to save click on this one and uh, here the extension is pdf so save simply save after this what we have to do is we have to simulate this one to ensure that this design is working so for that select this analysis and synthesis uh, and then you can go to tools and um, from here This is uh, just a minute. Go to it, you go to audit and then you can go to the processing and then start compilation is one thing that you can do. Or else, uh, from here, this is uh, directly from the compilation here. Uh, if you go to this to see your should seeing some of the compilation Hmm, okay, so do it from here. That is by double clicking this analysis and synthesis. Oh, wait a minute, I'll just fix that one. Yeah, it is here in the processing. Start and then go to this uh, start analysis and synthesis. This is one way of doing. The other way of doing is directly double clicking from here this analysis and synthesis so just double click this one and uh, the progress you can see here is happening of course here also is there So it's four percent now.
get done. This is done analysis and synthesis is done. Now what we can do is we have to simulate this one for that go to file and then go to new here under this verification slash debugging files select this university program vwf this this thing we select and here uh, what we have to do is just right click here insert node or bus here go to node finder and simply here this list if you list here uh, this is oh this this has come because we did not change the top uh, level entity so let's change the top level entity and we'll, we'll come back here so i'm just closing this one here uh, you can see if you go to the hierarchy here it is our gate that's why the our gate uh, inputs and outputs we have seen so go to the files here select this fa.bdf file right click set as top level entity now go to hierarchy now you select uh, this fa and now you, you again perform this analysis and synthesis Yeah, this is done now 100%. Now again go to file, new, select here under verification debugging files, this university program VWF, click OK. Now here right click, insert node and node finder and list. So now you have A, B, C in your sum uh, and carry out. Click on this, copy all to select it this nodes selected nodes so been added is that it means uh, these are the uh, nodes that and we we want them to see here in this way from window that's the meaning here adding now click ok and click ok here as well now select your a and uh, go to this one here this count value and 10 nanoseconds we are just it's a binary uh, like uh, you know on off and then we select this B and uh, count again uh, this time this is 20 and then C in you select go to count again this time it is 30 click OK so we have in all input set here and now what is that we have to is go to the simulation go to simulation settings click on this um, restore defaults and then from this line that is vsim this line remove this one this switch no optimization switch now save this one now go to this one perform run functional simulation perform run functional simulation so it uh, it prompts to save this 
say yes and the default name only I'm keeping you can change this name waveform to some other say and wait for this to happen like it is creating the test bench we did not give any test bench it is generating the test bench from this inputs So this is uh, creation of uh, test bench is successful now. It is uh, generating the functional simulation at least. So this is uh, done, then uh, it is uh, I mean, simulating. <coughs> so these are the simulation results. So at any time instance, if you select, like for example here, you have A1, B1, C1. Now you can see what the carry out is 1 and the sum is 1. So if you go to the different instance here, for example, these instances, here you have, uh, let's, let's, let's select this particular instance, this instance, here is A is 0, B is 1, and C in is 0. So we have carry out 0 and some 1, so that way, so we have simulated it. So this is how you do uh, your structural level modeling using block diagram. So we have demonstrated in this tutorial how we can use Quartus Prime for structural level modeling. And with the help of the ability of this Quartus Prime to convert Verilog files to symbols. And those symbols been instantiated to build the top level module. That is the structural level modeling. And uh, we also have learned without writing test bench, how we can run the simulation. Just by providing the inputs, just by providing the inputs here. And rest of the things are generated by the tool itself. And thereby it is simulating. So, hope uh, this will help you someone. If you have any doubts, you please ask in the comment section. Thank you.